Hi guys and welcome to today's video. Today, as you can see in the title, we're going to talk about the Arctic Freezer 34 eSports Duo CPU Tower Cooler with Bionics P-Series fans for push and pull com configuration. That means we have two fans in this CPU Tower Cooler and we have something also new here. We have the MX4 Thermal Paste Thermal co uh, Compound, so we're going to use that as well while testing the Freezer 34. Now, it has a standard look, I uh, love the design of the fans, so while well, I tested the 33 single freezer, uh, let's just open the box and see how uh, everything looks, and then we're going to place it in a case on the CPU. I'm going to use, uh, in this test, uh, in this review, I'm going to use AMD Ryzen uh, 7. 2700 and here let's start with the box okay so thank you for choosing Arctic you have a small uh, leaflet booklet whatever you want to call it uh, but let's go to the next part we have the accessory box so you have I think you have a thermal compound over here as well thermal paste you have all the brackets that you need yeah you have the MX4 thermal compound here as well but I think this is a 2019 edition, so it's a newer one. <coughs> and here we have everything we need. I'll get to that part later. I really want to see the new Arctic look. The new freezer look, sorry. Yeah. Oh, wow. Now, the best thing, the best thing about the Arctic Bionics fans is that they have, as I mentioned in a couple of reviews before when I talked about these ones, uh, they have uh, both sides looking almost the same. So when you look at the front fan, it looks like this. And then when you look at the back side of the fan, it also has these same colors and everything. It's not like you have those uh, fans that are really looking bad from the other side. This one looks really nice. And the whole passive cooler has <clears throat> eight heat pipes going through the passive part down to the processor core uh, so and it's nice and black so it fits nicely in the whole color scheme now I would definitely and I am definitely going to place uh, this cooler in a build where I'm going to test everything in a build that is also black and white so this will fit perfectly now let's check out what we got here Think that is it and if you want some more information you have a small small card here with the QR code uh, which you can scan with your phone and then you get more information on the Arctic Freezer 34 eSports Duo now it says here uh, pressure optimized fans uh, great stuff for radiators and I can call this a radiator even though it doesn't have liquid going through but okay thermal coating and uh, offset heat pipes as I said you have eight of them uh, fluid dynamic bearing on the fans so that is one cool thing and the push-pull combination with the front fan taking the pushing the air from the uh, left side and the right fan pulling it out the hot air so this is really cool now actually this is really interesting because cooling performance for AMD Ryzen 7 2700X or 2700X <coughs> uh, is with this fan 54.5 Celsius and with the freezer 33 it's 58.2 so this is really cool because we're going to test it's not going to be 2700X it's going to be 2700 because that's the CPU I have right with me but okay and uh, one more thing we have interchangeable 120 millimeter PWM fans on front and at the back you have 54 fins here on the, uh, on the passive cooler uh, we have the silicon rubber spacers we have the metal wire mountings here on these sides as you can see and you have four direct touch heat pipes so yeah, it's four actually, because I was counting all the eight. You have four going through the whole passive cooler and that's it. And sturdy mounting system, we have the aluminum fins. We already said that. MX4 thermal compound. Uh, the fans go from 200 to 2100 
uh, RPM so you have loads of space to adjust the speeds of the fans and the noise and everything this is really cool uh, what else we have recommended for TDP up to 210 watts it supports uh, Intel sockets uh, 2066 uh, 2011 minus 3 uh, and 115x so that means uh, 1150 1155 1151 so that's it also you have uh, socket compatibility for the AMD it supports AMD AM4 uh, sockets so okay it's time to place the Arctic Freezer 34 in a case uh, on the processor and run some Prime 95 tests or something like that whatever I found uh, we will test it out and see the real temperatures right so uh, if it's going to be better than the score they placed here on the case is it going to be worse or is it going to be the same so yeah let's go and do that Okay, so we did the testing with the Prime 95 on the AMD Ryzen 7 2700 processor and the cooler, as you know, was the Arctic Freezer 34 eSports Duo CPU Tower Cooler. Now, uh, they said here, okay, even the clock is a bit bigger and it's a uh, next version, so yeah. It says here the Freezer 34 eSports Duo had the temperature on the 2700X 54.5 Celsius. Now we had 43 Celsius in this case, in a smaller case. Tested with Prime 95 small FFT in a standard tower PC case CPU cooler set at full speed. And this wasn't set on full speed. And in a standard case so i didn't place too much thermal paste i placed it just enough i used their new mx4 thermal compound here and well i guess it's working perfectly i mean the test was about 20 minutes long i speed it up of course and it was holding 43 without any problems i mean it it's an even smaller case so yeah, I guess this case has a nice airflow, which is cool. But also the Arctic does extremely good work, which is even better than they said right here. So that's like 11 and a half degrees less. Just incredible. I mean, okay, some of you might think that this is, I don't know, strange. How could it, how could this be? But I mean, the CPU was constantly on 100% load and the case is doing a nice airflow and the coolness is nicely transferred to the processor so I don't know there was no reason for me to worry I mean I, I could probably put the stress test and I think it was 16 workers on Prime 95 so yeah I don't know this is just extremely too good so yeah definitely as I said when I was testing Arctic Freezer 33 single uh, I'm going to say the same thing here on the Arctic 34, well, Arctic Freezer 34 uh, eSports Duo that this is definitely the best buy non-RGB CPU tower cooler, without a doubt. I mean, uh, this is, I can say, PC Crazy recommended and uh, you have extended 10-year limited warranty. So guys, I think there is no better tower cooler that doesn't have RGB and it has a nice design and you don't even need RGB come on guys seriously uh, it looks nice and if you 
just remove the graphic card because it's red if I had a white graphic card it would look way way nicer it would be really cool like the whole build but as I said in the past video this was just for testing purposes the CPU tower cooler so guys thank you for watching I'll put the links below for where to buy the Arctic Freezer 34 eSports Duo Duo means for with two fans push pull combination if you forgot and that's all there is to it guys so thank you for watching uh, if you like the video click the like thumbs up button and if you really really liked it don't forget to subscribe for more videos test reviews mods everything thanks and bye bye